Hi everybody, it's Ann Patchett at Parnassus Books. If you haven't read these books, they are new books to you. I'm gonna to talk today about my friend Louise Erdrich, who is going to be the honoree at the Nashville Public Library Gala coming up on November 12th. And there's going to be a public lecture on November 12th here in Nashville at 10 o'clock at Martin Luther King High School. So Louise's first book, Love Medicine, which was a huge award-winning success, came out in 1984. Since 1984, she has just consistently published mostly novels, but also poetry and nonfiction and children's books. She is prolific, she is consistently brilliant, and arguably the best living writer on this planet. There are a lot of books to choose from. Maybe you don't know where to start. This is a great place to start, the beginning, but I'm gonna to talk to you today about three of my very favorite books of Louise's, and this is really hard for me to come up with just three because she is my favorite writer, but three that I would recommend if you don't know where to start, La Rose. So the thing about La Rose, and is often the thing about Louise's book, the very hardest part of the book comes right up front. Right at the beginning, a child is accidentally killed and two families have to make peace with that fact and who the remaining child actually belongs to. And this won the National Book Critics Circle Award. Um, and it won the National Book, oh, this one won the National Book Award. Yes, she's won so many, it's hard to keep it straight. This one won the Pulitzer. The Night Watchman, and this is loosely based on Louise's own grandfather who, while working as a night watchman in a jewelry lab, set in motion the paperwork to uh, prevent native dispossession in North Carolina and uh, fought it all the way to Washington, D.C. This is a spectacular, thrilling read absolutely won the poll absolutely deserved the Pulitzer, but frankly, everything she did absolutely deserved the Pulitzer. And this is her most recent book, The Sentence, which I loved, and it is about a year in the bookstore that she owns, uh, Birchbark Books in Minneapolis, and it just so happened that it turned out to be the year of George Floyd's murder and the pandemic and the beginning of Black Lives Matter's rallies, which happened just right on the street where the bookstore is. It is, bizarrely, a very funny book, um, and how she manages to bring so much love and humor to s one of the hardest times in our country is remarkable. So, if you have read all these books, if you haven't read any of these books, come and see her for the public lecture on Saturday or to the library gala because she's a national treasure and you don't want to miss it. Thanks so much.